And welcome again to Dinamina Show, the part of Digital Health Days. And we're thrilled to have our next guest, um, Johanna Wallert, founder and CEO of Trice Imaging, an international company, patent holding company, award winning company when it comes to storing and sending medical healthcare image directly from the devices to you, patients, or to hospitals. Welcome, Johanna. It's a pleasure to have you here. Oh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here today. So uh, your company is basically a mobile pl is, is a platform that helps um, transferring images. Yeah, it's a cloud-based solution yeah. uh, well, and that stores medical images. Yes, yeah, correct. but you worked also with different kind of images, not only the medical ones before. What brought you into the... We actually only work with ah, medical okay, images. Okay. We only work with DICOM, who is the format uh -huh, of any okay. type of uh, medical imaging device as an ultrasound MR CT device. We were referring to the story, how you started to be in healthcare mm -hmm. industry, that I would like our users to really get yeah, to so know when, that one. So when we uh, launched uh, our first company in 2009, we were actually a mobile platform. We were helping okay. companies out in the mobile channel. We had all type of customers, like newspapers, dating sites. We have a big fitness chain in yes. Sweden, and we have like a world-class mobile platform. And we had a workshop with one of the biggest OB clinic in Sweden uh, called Mamma Mia, where we got an inspiring idea. Uh, so one of the staffs asked us, is it possible to get the ultrasound image out to your phone? And uh, we thought that that uh, idea was brilliant. And um, we knew since former experience that if you have a, a printing behavior today, it's going to go digital. Mm -hmm. So we decided, let's try to build it, so and we did. <laughs> you have experience both outside of healthcare settings and within healthcare settings. What will be the main difference of driving business in those two? I would say it's regulations. It's a lot of regulations when it comes to being in a medical device. For each country we go into, we have to look in what type of medical classification we are in that country. We have to look into storage rules, uh, patient protection, uh, how you protect the patient data. Um, so it's a lot of hurdles uh, in the medical space that you don't have in uh, consumer products or, or other type of business-to-business -business, um, industries. So you're actually operating in more than uh, 15 markets, if yeah. I understood correctly, and in different continents also of the world. Um, what advice would you bring as a company that, is, that has a lot of experience in different markets to the digital health entrepreneurs? So do your homework. Uh, don't do the same mistakes that we did in the beginning. Thinking that it will work in America, it will work in any type of market. Thinking it work in ultrasound, it will work in other type of imaging segments. So may, uh, I would give the advice, you know, be, you know, dream big, but think small and start with maybe a niche product or a niche workflow and listen and adapt and listen to the users uh, on how to enter that market and um, grow from there. Great. Perfect. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to have you here. And we Thank know you. that you had a successful workshop before. So Thank good you. luck. Enjoy your Thank time you. home. Thank you Thank for having you. me. Thanks. You can. Oh, so small.